It is on this day, November 5th, 2014, that today you, as well as everyone else who is, I guess, watching this, will be meeting with a terrible fate. Now, obviously what this means is, is we're going to be starting legendary um, hunting, or not legendary hunting, but legendary catching, um, as well as a major announcement that's been made, and we have to kind of talk about it. I'm sure that a lot of people may or may not have already heard about this, but... <laughs> It's something that we're going to cover regardless. Now, I don't know anything else other than an actual video that gives the specific trailer for it. However, I, some, I don't know where the actual release information is. I just kind of watched the video, and from what I've been seeing and reading all over Facebook, it is 100% confirmed that Majora's Mask will be coming to the 3DS in Spring 2015. Um, don't know what to say, other than my body is Reggie, um, I mean, I, what more is there to say? It's Majora's Mask, I mean, I don't know about you, but this is a game I've been highly anticipating. I have um, Ocarina of Time 3D, um, actually I have two copies of Ocarina of Time 3D that should kind of help demonstrate how much I actually like the Legend of Zelda series. Uh, I even have one of the older games as well. I think it's The Link to the Past or something like that. I don't remember which one I have on my one of my 3DSs. Um, but yeah, I, ha I have two Ocarina of Time games, and that should kind of help put into perspective how much I actually really enjoy the franchise. I mean, Ocarina of Time is one of the major titles in the series. Majora's Mask has been a very long-awaited remake very long and it's going to not only be remade it's going to be re or remade on a portable system rather than the wii u um i'm pretty sure that they knew that this was the go-to option because when you think about it the wii u in the past had shown poor sales and as a result they wanted to make sure that it sold and the best way to do that is to put it on a system that sells more you know more others you know more of itself as well as, um, you know, yeah, so I feel like the, they made a very smart business move. By the way, anyone that actually enjoys Majora's Mask, for anyone who cares, he should still be doing it by the time I get this uploaded. If you are interested in watching uh, a Majora's Mask speedrun, um, Enop over on Twitch is going to be playing that right now. I just got an email notification saying that he went live. So... I mean, it's 15 minutes of recording. I, I, I really wouldn't mind if you decided to go and check him out. Um, but, I mean, if you want to watch me get trolled by two legendaries, um, that, that's a thing as well. But, um, yeah. So, I'm going to probably confirm this for everyone right now. I will probably get to Majora's Mask on this channel sometime next year. I don't know if I will be doing it upon release because the next Let's Play that we do is probably going to take up a huge majority of the time that we have. It might end just in time for Majora's Mask and if that's the case, well, that would confirm another Let's Play on this channel. So, kind of keep that in mind. This kind of motivates me to make sure that I get on top of things and make sure that my Let's Plays finish in time for bigger and better newer, like, you know, the newer games to come out so that way I can just do them usually on the day of release. Um, keep in mind, I may not be able to do that. My stores may, you know, be sold out or things like that, and as such, I may have a problem, you know, getting the games, but yeah. Now, as for my next Let's Play, Again, I'm not going to announce that. I don't know if I'm going to announce it at all. I'm not going to announce it now. Um, if I announce it, it's probably going to be like in the next week. We don't have much left to do. It's literally Wednesday, and um, we we, are, we already catch two of the legendaries in the game in this one episode. So we kind of have um, either Reggie Ice or Reg Ice or Reggie Steel, and um, I think Reggie Rock to catch in our game. Um, I'm not entirely sure, I have to double check everything, but we do have at least one of the Reggies to catch. We also have Heatran, we have Reshiram and Kyurem to catch, and I don't think there are any others. Um, and yes, we're going to be saving states here because, believe it or not, in theory owing strategies for Azelf, um, 
it's kind of a pain in the ass. It, it's not as bulky as Yuxi, so you kind of have to be careful, hence the reason why we removed the Mystic Water from Samurott, because Samurott's going to be our Pokemon of choice here. Um, or at least based on how it worked out in theory on. But yeah, back onto the whole like let's play thing. Yeah, I, I'm going to definitely try to make sure that I get on top of it and at least make sure I try to finish them in time for newer games so that way I can keep up with everything and bring fresh entertainment to everyone despite the fact that my language isn't exactly um well it's colorful let's just put it that way it's kind of colorful not exactly language I should be using in front of children of course so I mean if you happen to be like five or ten years old watching this sorry if I swear um, and that sorry goes out to your parents I suppose but um that's just kind of how I am, and yeah, the way that battle was going, there was no way. So, reset and try it again. There was, it would have taken over 15 minutes if we had let that go on. Trust me on that. I know, I know, he's elf. You can see him mess with it pretty well by now. But um, yeah, my next let's play. That's gonna be starting hopefully in the next few weeks. Uh, hopefully next week, maybe. It, we'll see. Like I'd kind of like to, um, you know. And again, Azel's the biggest problem so far. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with Mesper yet because we're not going to be doing Mesper immediately after Azel. We're going to be doing something else. And uh, yeah. So I mean, there's that. But hopefully, I should get my next Let's Play started in the next week or two. Hopefully, I, I really would like to get as close to finish with this Let's Play as possible by the end of the week, which means, you know, two more days to try and do a lot. Believe it or not, we actually did a lot of work in this, despite the fact that, like, a good half of it, if not more, is us just throwing Pokeballs at Legendary Pokemon. And the thing is, is, like, Legendaries can take up a lot of time and a lot of an episode. And, I mean, that kind of goes... Without saying, we've been on Azel for about four minutes now at normal speed. Believe it or not, you can see it was actually more cooperative. I think it's like three or four minutes so far on Azel. And it's still going to be another minute or two before we actually catch it. I know that much because I think I caught it just before the 10 minute mark. I think. I can't remember off the top of my head. I also kind of had my mother yelling at me for food, so it was kind of hard to pay attention to the time. And, um, yeah. So, I mean, there's that. But yeah, I don't know about anyone else. Uh, I'm, I'm highly anticipating Majora's Mask in a way. I kind of want to put it off until sometime maybe mid next year or so, just so that way I can play the game myself, get a you know get a good feel for the game again. Um, I really don't want to have to try and remember playing it as Enop does because he glitches. He does a lot of glitching, and believe it or not, if those glitches still exist, it's going to be so amazing if you can pull them off. Um, I guess I can go into it a little bit on that. Um, he does a glitch that allows him... Okay, you know the clock tower, uh, or the clock town um, owl that you're supposed to hit, so that way you can fly back to it with a certain song? Apparently, in the original, which is what Enoch plays... Well, it sort of. He plays it on his Wii. He has, like, a modded Wii that... Yeah. I think he has like a uh, thing like homebrew on there, um, whatever. But there's a glitch you can do called the bomb hover that allows him to kind of fly over the thing that allows you to go into the area, so to speak. I can't remember what they call it. It's like a tile that you kind of would step on and it would take you into the actual, you know, clock town area and whatnot. And um, the thing is, he can use the bomb hover to get high enough up and then blow himself over that marker and into Clocktown, despite the fact that he never technically walked into it, then he can hit that owl, and with the song of Soaring, he can now fly to any place on the map, basically. Because, um, I don't know how it works, like why it's like that, but if you stand on a certain marker, it'll take you to another location that corresponds with it somehow in the coding, assuming that, you know, like, like, I don't, again, I don't know how to really explain it because I, I don't know glitches, like, in depth, of course, but, um, it's pretty cool because then you could just kind of just go wherever the hell you need to and just unlock all of the statues, basically, and then, um, 
I mean, seriously, it, it, being able to fly all over almost immediately is just amazing. But, um, I played a lot of it on the emulator. The emulator is still kind of like, eh, and I really don't want to do that. I really wouldn't, and, disp and now there's really no point to do it on the emulator outside of, like, you know, the old graphics and whatnot and kind of adding nostalgia. Um, by the way, those niches are terrible, but we're back here to get Lilligant because we're going to be going to a rather serious battle in the next episode. We don't get to it today, but, um, yeah. But all these glitches, like, it's amazing to watch it. I wonder if some of the glitches will still be there. I'm sure that the bomb hover is going to be very difficult if it's even a part of the game anymore. Um, I mean, if it is, then there's a lot of cool things that you can actually do to get through certain parts of the game without having to go and get certain items and whatnot. Um, it's something that I kind of wanted to do should I had ever, like, let's play the 64 versions because there's the infinite sword glitch, there's the bomb hover, there's all kinds of just absolutely amazing things that you can do with glitching, and, um, believe it or not, I've actually learned some of them in Majora's Mask. Uh, over on Twitter, I had posted a screenshot of, um, Clock Town after I had done the bomb hover in East Clock Town and just kind of, how do I put it, clipped my way into, you know, the center of Clock Town where the actual clock is, and um, as a result, the clock was gone, but, like, the face of it wasn't. So it was kind of cool, you could kind of just see other things, and uh, it's, it's just cool, the things that you can actually really do. You can use it to get into areas that you shouldn't be able to get into, you can use it to warp from one area to another if you know what you're doing, um, things like that, like, Enop has a way of going to a certain area, using the bomb hover to fly over the, um, basically the edge of the room, and then once he clips himself out of that, he can move in a certain direction and stuff like that, and eventually he'll find a, uh, type of, a type of marker that kind of moves him into a certain area that brings him into the, uh, the one palace, I can't remember, the Deku Palace, I think is what it's called. So, I mean, there's a lot of really, really cool things that you can actually do. So, I mean, I don't know, if you are very interested to see all these cool things that you can do in Majora's Mask, at least the original, um, I highly recommend that you go check out Enop. Uh, I'll leave a link to his Twitch in the description. It, it's it's worth watching, it's a lot of fun, and hell, the, the game was just announced for a remake. I'm sure he's pretty stoked, and I'm pretty sure that anyone that enjoys the game will enjoy watching him play, despite the fact that he may or may not be glitching every single thing in the game. So. Yeah, I mean, I recommend it. I, I really do. So, I mean, there's not much left to do today, obviously. Uh, as you saw, we've been following Zork, who's been kind of going around to the caves. We don't really have to come over here and do whatever, but if you want to get that item, which happens to be, I think, if I remember off the top of my head, is a dragon scale, um, you can come and get it. Uh, this guy has a Fracture, a Flygon, and a Zwilus. Lucky for me, I had Samurott still in the lead, so I can Ice Beam whatever the hell he has and just kill it in one shot. Um, it's still kind of annoying, I didn't actually want to battle him. I, I, I guess I you know, got it out of the way though, regardless, so I mean, whatever. But um, yeah, be sure to leave a comment and let me know what you guys think of the remake. Are you guys going to be getting it? Is your wallet crying because you have to spend more money on Nintendo stuff? Um, you know, I don't know. I have to somehow find a way to get the game. I need to secure some money for it. Um, I mean, there's just a few games I need to kind of work on getting money for, but... I mean, whatever. I still want to get Kid Icarus. I still want to get Rune Factory 4, for anyone who even knows what that is. I know not many people are interested in games like that. Um, otherwise, I might have actually Let's Played it on this channel, but I... Mm, no, no one's really all that interested in those games, at least not from my experience, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, like I said, it was a dragon scale, so what we're going to do is we're going to not run into the wall a million times. We're going to exit here, and as you can see, there's still Zork. However, we're basically at 15 minutes, so in the next episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to continue following Zork to find out what he's leading us to, and then from there, we should be making our way to Isra City, as well as taking on um, Mesprit. So, uh, yeah, be sure to stay tuned for that. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the Majora's Mask remake, and if you haven't already, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and of course, again, until next time, this is the Pug Gamer, signing out.